you. Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching, too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit. Let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. in the middle. Want to have some fun? Some fun? Some fun? Some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. Hunt it, kill it, skin it, wow game, and country cooking. Hi, I'm Judy Moto, the Woodland Chef, and today we are making apple pear ginger pie. Basically on the west side of town. Hey, we're in Black Earth, Wisconsin at the home of my good friends Judy Moto and her boyfriend Billy. And we're going to uh, hunt it, kill it, skin it, and eat it today. That's right. It's wild game and country cooking. And you're cooking with Tittle. Bon appetit. Let's go eat and see what's on the menu with Chef Judy. <laughs> Look! I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! garlic toast that we're going to have some basil, a little basil pesto on there might be good. Oh yeah, and you dip it in the celery pea soup. Yep. And then we're going to use some of the heirloom tomatoes to make a nice little sunflower and oil vinaigrette for our fresh green salad. All right. You know the first time I traveled out in the rain and snow, in the rain and snow. You know the first time I traveled out in the rain and snow, in the rain and snow. I didn't have no pharaoh, not even no place to go. And my dear mother left me when I was quite young, when I was quite young. And my dear mother left me when I was quite young, when I was quite young. She said, Lord, have mercy on my wicked son.
Well, uh, another thing we're having is the wild venison skewered on the mm. grill, mm. marinated in a kind of a hillbilly Asian sauce. <laughs> and then uh, speaking some of, uh, uh, speaking of hillbilly chicken, Asian chicken sauce, chicken wings, <laughs> a little some chicken wings with a little sweet sour sauce on the grill. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. You never know what else we might come up with. Yeah, so we'll be having, we'll be having a back loin from the 10 point buck that Billy got with his bow and arrow this past October. So we uh, we eat all of the venison from the hunts. None of it goes to waste and we really enjoy it. That's good. That's really good. And that's, that's the thing about uh, hunting and eating your own food and knowing where it's come that you don't waste it. Right. Now tell me this tradition of the flowers, the, the growing, the black earth, uh, where does that come from? Well, my family are all into gardening, so mm -hmm. I think I just kind of grew up with uh, being around gardens and gardeners. Oh, okay. All right. And all it's right. fun. And, and I understand you have some uh, Native American Indian family, I too. I do. Oneida tribe, one of the six tribes of the Iroquois Nation. Aren't you proud? I am. Oh, yeah. Well, this earth is beautiful and so glad we got it to still look at. Well, welcome to Black Earth. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I just drank it all up. <laughs> I'm putting together the marinade for the chicken wings. Okay. And that consists of? I've got a little garlic here. I'm going to add a little ginger, uh, some soy sauce, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, a little cayenne pepper, and brown sugar, and apricot jam. Apricot jam. Mm -hmm. Oh, you make it so yummy. We like coming to Judy's house, don't we, folks? Yes. So here we're just <laughs> pressing in a couple cloves of garlic. We're going to add a little fresh ginger. Okay. We're going to put in a little cayenne pepper. You don't want them too spicy. I like spicy. So I guess it's up to your taste. Yes. And uh, what are you doing there with those chicken wings? Well, you know what? I, I may just uh, put them in my celery pea soup, girl. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, don't invite me to the country. I really just settle right in. <laughs> but yeah. And I know some people that actually eat these. They love them when it's fried chicken and they love the wing tips. And I mean, they love the wing tips. <laughs> but there you go, making the chicken stock is good. As a matter of fact, that's a little bit of what I'm putting in my celery and pea soup is chicken broth. Interesting, so I'm going to put a little paprika in here. We've cut the uh, tips off the chicken wings, much to Miss Tittle's chagrin. <laughs> and because we have uh, limited space on our grill with That's our venison no skewers. That's so. no excuse. You know what you can do with those uh, end tips? What? Oh, where did it go? Did you, you did not recycle them already. I did it already. You recycled the end tips? Yeah. yeah. Okay, no more Janoki for you. <laughs> break, break, break. <laughs> okay. A little Dijon mustard. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Some soy sauce. Mm. Some Worcestershire sauce. Whoa, one of my favorite sauces. A little kosher salt. Some brown sugar. Oh my God, it makes it stick to the ribs. Mm -hmm. And the meat and the chicken. Right. And what is this? This is our apricot preserves. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yum, yum. So we're gonna mix that all together. And, oh, some black pepper. A good amount of black pepper. Okay. We're gonna make a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix that all together. 
Oh, now you know I just have to just taste that to see just what it tastes like. That looks so yummy. Put the chicken wings in this for a couple of hours before we put it on the grill. This is my favorite part is tasting. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Let's get it on the grill right now. All right. So Go chef. We're going to marinate those and uh, we'll Dad. see you back when we put them on the grill. <laughs> Go chef Judy. <laughs> Cut. Slow down. They should be golden brown, not burnt. They will be. Now we're gonna skew up our venison, our marinating uh, back loin of buck from October 2011, captured here on the Black Earth property. So I'm gonna quickly, I've got it in a classic Korean barbecue Asian marinoid. The cuts are very similar to beef. You know, rump roast, tenderloin, skirt steak, you know, whatever. So think of it, you know, uh, the cuts are pretty much the same. The hillbilly Asian mm -hmm, marinated chicken wings, and we got the venison on the bottom. I love it. We make a lot of chili with the venison. We make uh, vendorloin, tenderloins in a cherry reduction wine sauce. Mm. That's very good. Uh, so, you know, it just depends what the cut is. I've got a brisket that I'm going to smoke this summer. Oh my God. So, it, it's a, it, it, there's a lot to do with it. You just need to know how to prepare it and take your time is the key. Well, I Wild hope game. you invite cooking with Tittle back for the venison barbecuing of that dress. I of know that, that brisket? Yeah, of that brisket. <laughs> that is going to be yummy. I want to be here for that dinner, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that will probably, that'll be midsummer probably. Okay. Woo! I'm so glad I saved the chicken wing. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Go, Judy. You can tell we're having fun here. Hey, we're doing wild game and country cooking, and you're cooking with Tittle and my posse. <laughs> bon appetit. Let's eat. With Thea, <laughs> Judy, Deb, and Billy. Hey! <laughs>
Your tittle invites you to check out The Shy on Showtime this January 7th, 2018. I play the great role of Ethel Davis, and as you can see, my character don't take no ch Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> chef and today we are making apple pear ginger pie so let's get started and so you're making the pie crust from scratch yes I'm making a two crust pie crust recipe about two cups of flour teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of sugar and then we'll add our a little butter and a little shortening I like the butter shortening combo so here I've got four tablespoons of butter that I'm going to throw in there, and then I'm going to get my, my Crisco. Okay. <laughs> you just can't get away from using the real ingredients. Right. The Crisco <laughs> and the butter is a good combination. It's, sometimes the butter makes the crust a little too heavy and it takes away from the uh, f fruit flavor. So I like to kind of lighten it up with a little shortening. So what's the measurement? So I've got a little bit, about a half cup of shortening here. Mm -hmm. And what about the butter? About a half about stick? About four, four tablespoons, half stick. Okay. And best to use unsalted butter. Oh, Seems okay. to lighten things up a little with the, the crusts and cakes and things in general. So then I'm just going to use a uh, long tined fork to gently break up and cut the butter and the shortening into the flour. You don't want to mix it and you don't want it to get hot. You want that butter to be chilled. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You want to just break it up into a, like a fine, grainy crust. No wonder you look so fit. This is work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I call this good arm work. <laughs> it is. This is very good for that uh, under the arm area, the treble area. Of course, our wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is a messy job. But Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, somebody's got to do Better it. Better you do it, Judy, than me, because I am not a baker. <laughs> but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning from having guests like you on the show. Thank you so much. Oh, this is great. And the hospitality of your home is so beautiful. The landscape. I love it all. So now you never want to make a pie crust on a really humid or rainy day because the oh, crust really? won't be flaky in general. So a nice dry day where it's not too humid is optimum for optimal pie crust. So see how it's just getting to be a little bit flaky. Yeah, that's good. Yes, I think of it as cutting the flour into the butter and shortening. Just want to get rid of some of those bigger pieces. Now everybody's got their own method, so mine has evolved over the years from my mother's method to me evolving into my own way of making crust, so. And I think that's a good move. Nothing like homemade, and I mean really homemade. Right, right. Okay, so now we've got that to where we want it to be, and we're just gonna gradually add some ice water. Ice water is very important. You want your water to be nice and cold. Oh, really? So I don't really measure it. You kind of go by feel. I heard so that. So I start with two or three tablespoons. And then I just kind of let the flour kind of fall into that wet, that wet dough. 
Then I add a little more water around the sides. And this, folks, is the way it's really done. <laughs> yeah, it's, you gotta kind of get the feel of the dough and how the flour is interacting with the shortening in the butter. So now I'm gonna see how it's coming together. Still a little bit wet. So you wanna get it flaky dry? So or? I just want it so it just comes together as okay. a ball. You don't wanna work it too much with your hands because you don't want that butter and shortening to get hot. I guess if you wanted to do like a basil crust, like wrapping some meat or doing some pot pies or Sure, something. you could use the same crust. This crust is very versatile. You could do it as a top for a pot pie or I've, I've done pot pies with the bottom crust as well. Oh, so okay. now what I'll take, I'll, now that I've got them, the dough where I want it to be, I'm gonna form it into two balls. So we have our top and our bottom crust. All right. Okay. That is so wonderful. So now we'll uh, get together our filling of apples and other assorted things. Sounds yummy Our to me. filling of apples, pear, and ginger. Love it. Grating up a little fresh ginger to add to the apples. Ooh. Gives it a little zing. It does. As a matter of fact, in the uh, celery and pea soup, I use ginger and white pepper, and you would think that I put chilies in it. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just have a variety of apples here. I'm just gonna uh, peel these up, and then we're gonna slice them and then add a little sugar, half cornstarch, half flour, a uh, little cinnamon, and a little salt. Sifted, mm. sifted together. Sifted together, of course. So and we I'll add that to our fruit. I love the music that you cook by, Chef Judy. Well, it's the radio, so I can't really take too much. Oh, go ahead credit and take credit. <laughs> so what is your favorite music to cook by? Well, that varies. I like this. I like a little bluegrass. Maybe a little reggae. Okay. All right. All of what I love. <laughs> Maletto Asito Balsamic. Oh, okay. And we'll okay. just put a little bit of that in there. Wow. French vinaigrette. French Maletti Balsamico. Let's see that again. Maybe Italy. Italy! I love Italy. Not France, so it's balsamic vinegar from France. A little oh. drizzle, a little bit on there. All right. I'm loving this pie, girl. The apple, pear, ginger. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> so then you mix that, get your ginger in there. Get it mixed up with that vinegar. Oh, you put vinegar in there? Yeah, the balsamic uh, vinegar. Oh, that's right. You just said that. So Keep put the balsamic up, vinegar on the ginger. Toss that up. And remember, there's one pear in here, one very ripe pear. Okay, now we're going to let this sit while we make our uh, put our pie shell together. All right. Okay. We get to roll out the dough. Yes. Well, that would make a giant cookie. It would. <laughs> You ever did that before? Yes. In fact, sometimes if you have scraps, you can uh, bake them like cookies. Just cut them out like cookies and put a little cinnamon sugar on them for a few minutes in the oven. Oh, sounds like a good breakfast treat. Yeah. A little extra dough. It's a nice little crusty cinnamon treat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little flippy guy here. 
And I'm just going to set this guy aside. Now I've got some extra dough here. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is make uh, some little appliques to go on top of our pie. Now that's decoration. I love it. It's nothing fancy, but it's just a little rites of spring. Isn't it a wonderful thing? Love spring. Love this. And what's better than Judy's apple pie? Okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> well, I like to see people enjoying it. Oh, I think we're going to get a lot of, mm-mm, it's so good. Of course, everybody is kind of uh, working around the beautiful farmland here. Love it. What do they grow mostly out here? Well, they have corn and uh, alfalfa for their cattle and then some soybean, peas, green beans. There's some cash crops around, but uh, there's a lot of dairy farmers. Okay, so now I'm going to create some some leaves, I think, to just put on top of the pie. And like I said, nothing has to be perfect. But those are cute. <laughs> They're the prettiest little leaves I've ever seen. <laughs> So the idea is just to make it kind of fun. Oh, it is. Isn't fun? It, cooking is fun. It is so fun. It's scientific. Scientific for sure. It's interesting the way to, to, to see things react together. Yeah, and how it's going to come out and how it's going to taste. It's got all the ingredients. That's why I love cooking with Tittle. <laughs> How is it? Mm, mm. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Got a little reggae music going on here. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'll add a little detail to them. Judy, my viewers would say, this is fancy, okay? <laughs> and then it goes into the oven at 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes to brown up the top. And then you lower the temperature to 350 and it stays in for another 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how much filling you have. That is so pretty. <laughs> How's it tasting? Pretty darn good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, here's our finished pie. We're going to let it rest for a few hours and then we'll have it for our dessert after our other fabulous items on our menu. But I don't want to wait for this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you I know, it. it's got to cool. Yep, it'll be much better cool. That looks absolutely fabulous. A little chicken wing. A little venison on skewers, a little garlic toast with pesto, we're uh, ready to go. And uh, that celery and pea soup is coming, but you're just doing so great. <laughs> I hate well, to leave the moment. We can always make it a two-day affair. I'll be back. <laughs> Woohoo! Cooking with dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's our movie going to be? I got to think of... Ooh, you're cooking with dinner. Where's my cowboy hat so I can get 